Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and in this brief video, I will introduce you to another postcolonial key term, which is contrapuntal reading. Okay, so the concept itself was theorized and elaborated by Edward Said in his 1993 book, Culture and Imperialism. But he takes the vocabulary, contrapuntal reading, from music theory. So if you know a little bit about classical music, you know that there is always a harmony, right, that takes a piece of music from the beginning to the end. But sometimes within that harmony, a counterpoint is added, right? Something that's not doesn't overwrite the harmony, but is it it's in opposition to the main harmony, the main instruments, but both of them work together to create a harmonious whole. So what Said suggested in his definition and articulation of contrapuntal reading is that instead of reading the text as we traditionally do, and he does a great reading of Mansfield Park, right? And instead of reading them within the methods of reading that have already been suggested and read, let's also look at the underpinnings and the architectures of text and bring that as a counterpoint to a traditional reading, right? And that is what would constitute contrapuntal reading because it is accounting for two ends of a text, how it is normally received in the West, right? But whatever silenced histories or knowledges that underwrite it and then juxtapose the two and then read the text. So let's say in case of Mansfield Park, what he suggests is that instead of just reading it as a novel in which characters do and this, this, this and that, let's bring in the colonial privilege, the exploitation of this family, what they do in their colonial land holdings and how that land holding underwrites the privileged lifestyle style that we are reading and responding to. And by bringing that in, then we can bring in the colonial infrastructure that makes it possible for the characters in that novel to have the life that they have. And that way, as we move through the text, we are tackling with what the text offers, but the colonial injustices and exploitation that write the characters that are in it, but don't really announce it. There are so many other texts that can give you the same kind of contrapuntal material. Uh, for example, I have a video on Michelle Cliff's A Bank, right? A beautiful novel, but what the novel does is, it, it is written contrapuntally. How? We get the life story of a young woman who is coming of age during the novel, but throughout the novel, she also gives us these historical accounts, kind of like a counterpoint to the narrative, which inform our understanding of the narrative itself, but also of Jamaica. I always use this example from the novel. So there is this bourgeois middle-class family, right, sitting for tea right, which is a very English tradition, right, evening tea or high tea, whatever you want to call it. And while the father, Mr. Savage, reaches for a spoonful of sugar to put in his tea, the, we cut to this counterpoint where Cliff gives us a historical account of how much sugar cane was planted on one acre of land, how many slaves worked it, how many slave hours did it take to produce enough cane, to produce enough sugar? All of that is technical detail about production of sugar. But by the time she finishes that passage, that counterpoint has informed the main narrative with this knowledge that that act of putting a spoonful of sugar in his tea makes Mr. Savage and his family complicit in slavery, right? Or in this exploitation of human labor. Now, that is what, very simply speaking, is a contrapuntal reading, 
right of a novel. Pick up any text, Heart of Darkness, any Western text, and then read it by pointing to the unacknowledged privilege the characters have, or even the writers have, which is underwritten by a colonial enterprise, slavery, colonial exploitation, or exploitation of workers and all. And hence then we read the text in its traditional sense, but bring that traditional reading to crisis by adding these silenced narratives. You can do that to any text, anytime you bring some feminist history, history of rights of women, history of rights of African Americans, history of rights of native indigenous people in a story where they are not accounted for, but they are making it possible for the plot to run or for the characters to exist and have a certain life. All of those readings would be contrapuntal readings. So that's all I have. Remember, it comes from music theory, and Saeed was an accomplished pianist and a musician. He actually has a book called Musical Elaborations. And then, as you read and teach novels, remind yourself what are the underpinnings of it, what is the architecture, what are things that make it possible for the characters to be who they are, enjoy the privilege that they have, or even the author have the privilege of writing those characters. And that, doing that, would be your initiation or beginning into contrapuntal reading. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. And as always, I'll be happy to accommodate any requests about any topics that's within my expertise. I am delighted to have you here, and as always, thank you, and peace and love.